Hello and welcome my little finches to a brand new FIFA 15 video. Before I begin, if you're looking to buy coins, be sure to check out FUT Coin King. Link is down below in the description and use my discount code FINCH. That's right. What's your name, little boy? Well, hmm. my name is FINCH. It's in the description. Also, subscribe to Finch, which is down below as well. And uh, let's try and get this video to 5,000 likes, my finches. I know we can do it. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. And pretty much what we're going to be doing today is discussing overpowered players in FIFA 15. Now, I want your feedback on this as well. So before you start going, eh, this was the overpowered players. <laughs> Listen to me first and let's see how far, well, let's see what response you guys give me as opposed to FIFA 15 overpowered players. What we're going to be talking about basically is whether you think that players like Eswine and like fucking Ibarbo and shit should be better than players like Ronaldo and Ibrahimovic in FIFA 15. Now personally there's nothing I love more about Ultimate Team than finding hidden gems. I did it this year with Eddie Johnson, Dempsey, and Malapa and uh, a few other players as well. I know like Bateson did it in FIFA 13 with Royce and Eswine and whatnot and every year there's always like a couple of super overpowered players that just dick everyone and they're always really dirt cheap because they get packed so frequently and shit. Now, um, what I want to basically know is what do you think that players like this should be, well, should be better than players like Ibra and stuff in FIFA 15? Obviously, this year and the year before, players like Ibrahimovic, Ronaldo and Messi and whatnot play nowhere near as good as players like Ibarbo. Straight up, but like, I'll be perfectly honest with you, team of the year Ibrahimovic. Plays nowhere near as good as Ibarbo. You got Ibarbo in that team and he's out jumping fucking uh, man of the match Hummels. Everyone. Same with Eddie Johnson. This guy has absolutely fucking destroyed everyone I've came up against this year. Taken on full legend teams. My legend killers team has fucking destroyed it. I man of the match team destroyed it. Every single, single type of team pretty much. And this team has fucking demolished everyone. And in theory, it shouldn't. But the reason why these players are so good is because they have certain attributes that make the world, that work in the game. Like, to be honest with you, the most recent world. <laughs> Eddie Johnson has four star skills, four star weak foot, 90 strength. Decent pace. He's got like 90 sprint speed as well. He's strong. He's fast. He's tall and he's got pretty good skill moves That's all you need in FIFA finishing don't make no difference passing don't make no difference Which is why players like Xavi and stuff are absolutely shit It doesn't make a difference You could play Muriel at cam and he would still ping the same homing missile over the top through balls as the team of the season Modric that's one thing that I don't really understand. Aside from certain attributes like strength, pace, and uh, height. The height is another one that's quite decent as well. But mainly pace, strength, and well that's pretty much it really. Pace and strength. You don't really need any other attributes to be perfectly honest with you. And that's one thing that I don't really know if they should change. Because it makes the game a lot more fun for me. And it kind of adds a lot more longevity to the game. And also if you don't have a lot of coins. It gives you the ability to still win games against people that have like super teams pretty much. But um, as you may see from like my gameplay and shit. I never really use... Uh, overpowered. What, I, what am I saying? I always use overpowered players. I never really use expensive players and that's just because I have a lot more fun personally banging in like 40 yard long shots with someone like Draxler or Eddie Johnson or someone like that as opposed to trying to play with Ibrahimovic and getting pissed off because I paid 10 million for him and he can't fucking score. So uh, that's pretty much well. I don't really kind of know how to go from here. I want your thoughts on this whether you think that they should fix this or they, if you think they should keep it the way it is and they should like just stick with it and leave ultimate team as it is make it a bit more i think personally it should be a bit more arcadey next year but in terms of players and stuff i think that they should leave it exactly how it is because i like finding hidden gems and stuff um, i'm sure many uh, probably a lot of you guys do as well as uh like not everyone has so many millions of coins and shit so it kind of what well, allows you to win games just as much as anyone else really um but let me know what your thoughts in the comments section down below and let's try hit this video to 4,000 likes or 5,000. and uh i shall see you tomorrow for a brand new video my little finches that's pretty much it smash it in the comments section the finches subscribe to blocky finch and i shall see you soon for um something tomorrow if eight or four and uh i don't really know uh, dead to dempsey kicks off on saturday as well so uh be sure to check that out and that's pretty much it so thanks for watching my friends and goodbye high five 
So today on Vlogger we're gonna be playing some Castle Siege. This was requested by one of you guys. If you have any ideas of more mini games you want me to play, let me know in the comment section down below. But I think we have to, oh look, we have to defend against the zombies. Right, here they are. Ha 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 ha! I doubt I'll get any of them. But let's move up the ranks. Well, we'll move up here and see if we can defend, our, well, defend ourselves from up here.